we can get started yeah now yeah 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 so hello everyone my name is sachin kumar i am from new delhi developer group first of all i would like to thank all the participants to join this session and i also like to thank our today's speaker uh, om prakash for sharing his knowledge with us so guys uh, uh om can you please share your screen okay i hope uh, you can see my screen now right yes correct That's so correct. Uh, guys our today's speaker mr om prakash he is a product head at 360 degree cloud uh, he is in salesforce mvp salesforce lightning champion and uh, he has lot of experience uh, in salesforce domain he is a community gr group leader of motihari india developer group and he is also mulesoft meetup uh, group patna leader can you move to the next slide om yes uh, the first one i think the first before that one there is one more slide yes this uh, one which one you are looking uh, yeah this this one this one so guys we are the new delhi developer group and we are in the salesforce community since february 2016 this is our twitter handler that is twitter.com slash new delhi sfdc dug and this is our trailblazer community group that is bit bit.ly has slash new delhi new delhi community and we also have our new delhi developer group website that is new delhi sfdc dug.com so i urge to everyone please follow us on twitter and please go to go and check our website to know more about new delhi developer group and its initiatives so new delhi developer group has several initiatives and that uh, impact salesforce saturday is one of them impact salesforce saturday is uh, is a series of online salesforce saturday sessions we have been doing this for a couple of of years actually this program called as a virtual salesforce saturday now we have rebranded it to impact salesforce saturday you can find all our past and upcoming sessions which we have organized and we will organize in the future so these are the links where you can find those upcoming and post sessions can you move to the next slide yeah talent central uh, as i mentioned new delhi developer group has taken initiate several initiative talent center is best initiative which new delhi developer group has taken so new delhi developer group sorry uh, this is this is the talent central it is similar like nokri.com monster indeed basically it is a portal where students who is looking for job in salesforce ecosystem and the companies which are looking for freshers in salesforce ecosystem can register i would like to request all the student please join this portal this is the link of this portal so mentorship central mentorship central is a platform where which allow us which allow our mentor and mentees to connect them this platform is basically for all who want to grow in salesforce ecosystem in this platform we have experienced mentors who will help their mentees with the guided path 
you can leverage this platform to register yourself as a mentee or mentor this is the link where you can register uh, bit.ly slash sf mentorship central so uh, so i would urge each and every one so take a snap snap or a screenshot of that topic which you learn in today's session or which which you think it is interesting and post on twitter handler with hashtag impact sales for saturday and at the end of this session we have one quiz and we have a swag for uh, one winner as well so om over to you okay oh, thank you very much sachin so i hope my screen is still visible oh, one second let me do one little bit yeah so okay i can see we have uh, like uh, little delay but yeah that's fine good morning everyone and thank you very much for joining us today for this uh, impact sales for today three so today we are going to talk about the heroku basics so once again welcome and thank you each and every one thank you to entire new delhi developers group team and all the community group the members so thank you very much what you are you are doing it's awesome like uh, managing our sessions every saturday is a really cool thing and uh, you keep us engaged with learning sessions so these are some of the volunteers and group leaders so thank you once again and thank you for having me today with you all hope uh, you will have some learning and some fun talk with me before i begin uh, i just need a little answer from our audience so how many are here or uh, someone who has uh, no real head account it uh, kind of pitch text because it's hello cool sessions so i understand people um, also joined from the the ecosystem so if you don't have a real head account just please text us in chat window and we'll make sure we'll have a self learning platform at the end of the sessions nice i can see no any reply means everyone from the salesforce ecosystem and everyone has all the real head account that's really cool and awesome so yes before i begin it's a forward looking statement you all are familiar with this slide so don't uh, do any purchasing this region without looking on the current available features and functionality so all purchasing decisions should be based on your uh, based on the current available functionality and features so yes let's go for the ride and uh, today we will cover uh, of course three fundamental things you are already familiar what why and how no matter you are going to write a process builder or you are going to write a piece of code first thing come in mind what we are going to do then of course why if you can do from the process builder then why i have explored something and now how so of course main thing is first to you know you are all technical so you can do so yeah let's go and uh, as i mentioned trail head trail head is a great learning platform i can see world's uh, one of the number one learning platform we all love and uh, the main thing here not only technical skills there are some business skills there are leadership skills soft skills lots of skills you can develop on the trail head uh, platform so if you can uh, see uh, if you can uh, see at the same time millions of developers millions of trail blazers we say are going to learn they are going to check challenge we all can do that challenge at a specific same time and we all need a personalized experience we all have our own modules i am going to learn maybe developer side you are maybe going to earn the badge from the admin side so when the idea of trail head platform development came in the mind of salesforce prior to 2014 you can say uh, we have a small team for trail head and the main concern was deployment we are to deploy this application so we can serve million of trail blazer at a same time without any disturbance without any manual interruption for scalability its better architecture and its design so yes as many of you already familiar 
trailhead is hosted on the Heroku and yes, this is a Heroku and trailhead which provide us the best learning experience. We can check the challenges, we can learn the lots of things. And uh, so now this is a little bit a story for we all like uh, how excited thing, things we are going to talk today. Now, let's see. In today's world, we are digitally connected. So we need two types of application. This basically, if I talk on the primary level, you all are familiar with Salesforce platform. We have the uh, employee facing apps. We build our apps and our business uh, processing happen with help of Salesforce. I don't need to explain anything. You are already familiar as you all are from the Salesforce ecosystem. Now, company also need personalized and some customized experience for customers. You can see this app is customer facing app. Here, this is basically, uh, I can see the latest offer, I can see the MPP parts I have, I can see the uh, lots of the, uh, offering from this provider and I can go ahead and I can uh, customize my shopping experience. Means we need, we need to build some application for customer passion, e-commerce, as I give an example for uh, e-learning, that trail ahead. We have lots of each, uh, I can say like e-commerce website for your shopping experience. Uh, game I mean you can think lots of use cases which will be customer facing and these apps can be developed in any of your favorite language right outside of sales first if you go for the development then lots of choice node.js ruby java php python lwc whatever you are going to build you can develop your customer facing app can be in the, any of these language no matter which language you are using, no matter which application you are using, you need one server for deployment. You need one platform where you can deploy your application. That's fine in Salesforce, you don't need to worry for that because simply we have, I will talk again. So in Salesforce, we have, that's good. We develop in our sandbox and in deploy to production. But outside of the Salesforce world, if you are building a Java application, you need one platform where your Java application will run. So of course, which platform you will choose? You will choose the most innovative platform, which is a platform as service edge. So as we shared earlier, this is a beginner focus session. I am expecting our audience will have something takeaway. Why Heroku? What is Heroku? So before I go next, let's talk a little bit about this uh, terminology, software as a service edge. Great example, we have our Salesforce. Customer purchase the Salesforce application and ready to use. They can go log in and start using right away. That's software as a service. Now, if I talk in terms of a clear real world example, something, say, I'm going to buy a laptop for myself. I am going to a shop and I'm going to uh, choose some of the brand laptops and uh, I'm not worried for the configuration. I know that, okay, this model I require, I will buy this model that is sufficient for me. And uh, you know, the model define everything like uh, how many uh, RAM you need, how many um, uh, hard disk you need, lots of things. So I went uh, to showroom, I can buy a ready-made laptop that's fine and I'm ready to use right now. Similarly, I explained for the software as a service. Now, while buying a laptop, if you can see, we have also one option. What we can do, we can do uh, go to the showroom, that's fine, but I will buy, I will see to the uh, shopkeeper, uh, vendor, you okay, I need a screen of this size, I need this much storage and I need uh, some this type of look on the keyboard. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going much details, just I told them and they are, they are expert in that and they are going to give me uh, one the laptop in a few minutes or few hours after assembling all those things as per my requirement. If you talk in the terms of cloud, Computing, then yes, that's the platform as a service age where we don't need to worry for the infrastructure configuration. 
we don't need to worry for like uh, which uh, tools we need to use like at the basic architecture level at the infrastructure level but yes just we need to do what we are going we are uh, uh, already available tools already available software and hardware tools we are going to use that for our application so here if i see we have salesforce lightning platform you all are familiar that salesforce lightning platform is our platform as service so what we do we don't need to worry now uh, which database we need to use we have already force.com database there we don't need to worry for internal configuration internal steps just we need to focus on our development means with platform as service you have much time to focus on the development side your application side deployment side and runtime environment will be taken care of by the platform as service provider that's our Salesforce lightning platform you are already familiar similarly we have heroku platform that is for outside of salesforce world development as i mentioned earlier for customer facing apps heroku is our platform as service where we can deploy our application within minutes. I will show you in the demo. We will have a cool demo based on the Lightning Web Component open source. So you will also going to learn with me how to deploy Lightning Web Component open source today. Now let's talk something for infrastructure as service. The same, again, if I share my story of that uh, hardware world, what I will do, I will go to the shop. I will buy the monitor. I can say like, yeah, you see, I will buy the keyboard. I go outside of that shop and I will rent someone, some technicians, some uh, engineers who can help me configuring and assembling the entire product for me. That's called infrastructure as services. In terms of this terminology, infrastructure as service, like imagine AWS, where we need everything is there uh, but we need to design we need to add all those layer by us and if i say on premise infrastructure if i say hardware example again i will build everything i will have manufacturing company for building the glass i will uh, screen I will have manufacturing company for building this keyboard. So in the application world, I will have our own server development. I will have everything by own our physical server and hardware. So these are some of the basic terminology and we are talking today about the platform as services. That's our Heroku platform. So if I combine my previous statement, deploy and run your apps, on the most innovative platform as services and now we can add the same statement that heroku is a platform as service provider platform which help us build deploy and monitor and scale the application without worrying for the infrastructure headaches yes no need to worry for infrastructure setup Full focus on your development, your coding stuff, your innovation in the product, and go ahead with the deployment stuff, and all the headaches will be taken care of by this platform. We all are from ecosystem here. So yes, Heroku is a part of the Salesforce platform already, and Heroku company is also owned by Salesforce. So yes, it's our own product, it's on our platform, I should say. So what do you mean by this uh, Heroku is part of our Salesforce platform? You are already familiar with customer uh, Salesforce customer 360 view, right? So in the customer 360 view, we also have a Heroku and we will have an easy access of data between both application and lots of stuff. You need to keep uh, following our next session for those much details but yes for now Heroku is part of the Salesforce platform almost of you are already familiar so if I summarize my clear discussions what is Heroku so Heroku is a platform as service okay? See? that enables us that enable developers to build the apps 
no matter which language you love and deploy it in a easy go and manage your application for give you the best user experience officially language supported any language these are some of the official language not js ruby or php java you can see this list but no worry if your favorite language is not in this list still you can deploy your language for example dotnet is not in list here na but dotnet application can be deployed by help of heroku build packs so what is heroku build packs basically you know heroku build packs are uh, some sets of instructions some sets of uh, scripts i can say that stick here our source code compilation on heroku so when i will deploy today one hero, uh, one app on heroku so you will notice okay at each of uh, while deploying the app some build process is happening so this build process help us to automate our uh, this build packs help us to automate our build process no matter which language you are or which framework you are using so till now we only understand what is heroku now i also mentioned heroku take care for everything you are busy we all have all you know fast track like a style we don't have much time for thinking each and everything by own so yes focus on your development and heroku run time take care everything as i mentioned earlier we have one concept of dino not dinosaur by the way it's dino so dino help us uh, it's a container basically uh, what happened there are various uh, containers that keep our each uh, application running on our server so dino dino take care of these things you okay uh, how your application is running on the platform uh, later we will learn uh, how can we sco scale dino by the way uh, we will have uh, one dino running in our free application but yeah we'll go for that later again so apart from the heroku runtime experience heroku deployment age developer focus means apps heroku developer experience give us ability to uh, commit your code and once your code is committed on git it will deploy deploy to the server means you are running you are you have tested your code that's okay to go you can deploy from your developer uh, i can say uh, we have a cli and uh, i will talk about the cli very soon so we it's the developer focus apart from this we also have uh, one very cool dashboard of heroku where we can go and you can also create one application from there then sample app will be created then each and every steps are mentioned there how to clone that application how to uh, add new source of code and how to deploy that application totally developer focus you are uh, in sales force ecosystem you know app exchange uh, help us with the like you know various apps are there we can download the apps we can download the flow lots of things there similarly in the heroku we have uh, lots of plugins uh, we can say adds on that always help us to extend our application to the next level without developing everything so you can use the heroku adds on that's our ecosystem now only deployment that's good application deployed we need a best operational experience means if we need to troubleshoot something we have amazing tools we can troubleshoot the application in real time lots of thing is also taken care by the heroku team itself so you don't need to worry much go ahead with your application and yeah we will experience this today of course no matter which uh, portal which uh, application which platform you are using we always need our trust our data should be secure because lots of sensitive data is going to the heroku right and here 
we all at home salesforce ecosystem you know trust is our number one priority number one core value and heroku is part of our salesforce so you know the same level of trust the same level of security things are there we have also heroku sell we can also learn that in the next session so in some right way just i expand the some uh, run time stuff some of the developer experience operational experience and uh, about the plugins like i we say add ons and security i think these are the sufficient one but many more i don't think i can cover everything one in one slide but yes so here we understand why heroku moving next let me go to next slide without huge cases i don't think we will have much uh, excitement so let's talk few of the huge cases we all are developer we all are uh, you know technical mindsets here you can think a uh, lots of huge cases but for now i am going to talk few of the huge cases you are going to build a rest services right and you are going to give those rest services to your customers and the developers so Heroku is the best platform. Go ahead and deploy your RESTful services, RESTful APIs. Build your API and apply on the Heroku by the use of endpoint. You can uh, call out and you can take the response from the API. Now, I think our story of today started with the customer facing app. So yeah, same thing here. If you need to build your customer facing apps, customer facing websites. go ahead and deploy on the heroku now at age is mobile you know everything is mobile we all are here connected virtually today many of you are already joined this session from the mobile so you are going to build something hybrid application you are going to build mobile application right or you are going to use the hybrid approach go ahead host your api host your uh, all the Uh, IoT services which will be interact with API services or on the Heroku and go ahead focus on your mobile development application. Now, if you talk data, Salesforce is the best platform for you know Salesforce world number one CRM. So it's in best for all those data management, all those customer data, employee data. But here clients need little more. means i am giving one example here my requirement is what i am going to do on my e-commerce website user is going to upload photo okay i need to uh, resize those photo and when the photo is resized perfect fit for profile picture then i will send their photo in salesforce till now that is outside of my salesforce and requirement is that's client requirement they can told me any anyway. requirement is we will need to keep the resized photo as well as we need to store the original photo maybe sometimes some other use cases are not going in deep so here we need to store one of the large image size in our database and one of the uh, you know resized one so we'll push that resized one to salesforce and keep other there by the way this is one image example you can relate with various use cases where you have large data set and you are only looking to send your uh, you know filtered data in salesforce you don't want to spam your you know business user with some other data then you can build a on data warehouse and you can store those data warehouse with help of postgres database and other database available on heroku be common huge personally i huge i can say more than 10 times recently you are going to build some proof of concept today i told you uh, can you please show me a demo how lightning web combo named application can run on heroku no in independency from salesforce that application is not for salesforce that application is from the outside and how to build that lwc application so you are going to look for quick approach now you will develop the application and it will deploy it quickly somewhere so that you can show me demo like okay yes this can be possible see here the demo so we use it for proof of concepts like 
go ahead it's uh, deploy the application your proof of concept like your poc is done then you can always delete the application from the heroku platform many more use cases you can thanks and don't forget to share us on twitter or in personal or anyway don't forget to share us what you are going to build this weekend tomorrow uh, it's sunday of course and yeah today so moving ahead lots of talk talk right now here so yes what we have discussed it's time to see in the action so yes in reality it is here heroku platform is here you can go ahead and create your free heroku account with the sign up dot heroku dot com once you have created your account you are not familiar just you need to uh, give your email address company name and country you can see once your account is created you can go on the id dot heroku dot com and you can log in to the heroku dashboard just need to remember id.heroku.com and this is shannon.heroku.com so yeah you can simply create your new account on the heroku and before i go next i want to show you something you can see in the july uh, 18 2013 i was looking for some options where to deploy my java application i have java application uh, you know java learning application that time uh so i was looking and i got to know about the heroku and cool thing what i am uh, sharing here that time i had very less experience in it industry nothing i had no any idea about the deployment stuff how development thing happened i have only one year of experience that time i can say but with help of the heroku dev center with a simple uh few command lines i was able to deploy my java application and The cool thing is, in 2013 it was deployed. It was learning application, not a business application. So I forget, right? And here was some updates and happened on Heroku automatically. See, after three years, when needed, it was updated by Heroku. By the way, we'll explore much about these things in our. We have four sessions, by the way. So before we go for some hands-on, some uh, practical demo, what we need all, we need to install uh, Heroku CLI. If you use uh, Salesforce SFDX project, you are already familiar about uh, Salesforce CLI, right? And here we are going to interact with Heroku. So we need a Heroku CLI. Heroku CLI basically just help us to create and manage application directly from our. terminal our command line you could still i also required get get a version control system almost i can say in all of you are already familiar with get so just need to visit this url and you can install here could still i and get on your system and i hope you have already then awesome that's cool now it's time to go somewhere where we are going Are you awake? Can you put text in the chat window where we are going so that I can understand? Yes, you are listening me. Anyone can you put text in chat window where we are going now? Maybe just uh, like something I can say. Oh wow, awesome! Just one of the speaker and audience interaction. Oh ah yeah, we are going for demo. Yes, let's go. Once again, yep, that's good. I'm going to my browser. So as I mentioned, we can build application in any language, any of your choice. Ruby, Node, JS, Python, Java. For this demo, I am going to use Lightning Web components, which will be. Built by our open source. So just you need to go on this. If you're going to build uh, this application with me, or after this session, just copy this command. Let me open the VS Code. Let me open the terminal. And I want to go in some of my favorite. Uh, 
directory you know and yeah that's fine i get a dedicated folder for today demo so i am going to create one application application name is my app here that's fine you can go ahead and name this okay what we, it will do just you need to make sure on your system npm 5.2 plus version is installed you can go ahead on this installation guide all the instructions are there and why i am doing this because in this demo we are today our scope is heroku deployment and heroku application building right not this i am very happy just recently uh, in the self post uh, so the, uh, impact self post series i love those session much finished by sakti so yeah uh, i am sure almost of our, our audience are already familiar and many of you are already explored this lightning web component open source so that's why i am following this command uh, it will be uh, yeah give the default option as of now for all and yeah app is creating so what will happen one application will be created on my local system with help of this that will be based uh that will be lightning web component application front end will be a uh, lightning web component and back end will be node.js application and we learn we can deploy the node.js application on platform uh, heroku so i'm building the node.js application and i have to join this because of the i need to build a lightning web component so no worry no need to worry how to build the node.js application or uh, of course uh, our open source will help you create and you can see it's uh, creating meanwhile maybe someone is thinking how to create java application or other application so we have very cool documentation that's called dev center dot heroku dot com or heroku dev center just you need to visit let me choose i am going to create node js application okay so let's start so again it's asking you you are going to build node just uh, node.js application which will deploy on heroku so it's assumed you have heroku account i think i have already covered heroku account and you can install node.js and npm locally from here but in my case i don't need to uh, uh, i don't need to create node.js project but still let's install and i am ready to start Heroku CLI installation guide is here. You can install the Heroku CLI already. And once I will install Heroku CLI, yeah, I don't know. You can install. So I'm not going on for that. That's the command. And if you want Windows, that's one application. In this tutorial, you get clone. It will clone this source code. Okay. This is a sample source code built in the Node.js. So this application will be cloned on your pc and you can deploy this application but here i don't need to clone because you can see wow awesome meanwhile our application is ready my app is already created and if you are following this, this guide it means you are ready what i have did by helping uh, with help of this the same thing already happened here similar thing not same thing here we are building lightning web component application it's building you only a node.js application so again go back you can follow this step if you are going to build other language you can choose java you can follow these steps this is not in our uh, you know scope of the session because you are learning deployment so look go back what i did our application is created go ahead and share your love and thanks to Rene on twitter now i need to run this application locally which application one second something let me adjust it yep so i need to go in that folder or uh, that will let me open from here open remember we have chosen the heroku folder and that was my app so this my app is created which is a lightning web component and node.js project i can see the src modules my okay and you can see app.css app.html app.js here okay so 
here your lightning web component project first thing i need to run this application locally this node.js application locally let me open new terminal i'm going to run npm run watch okay i am already in the folder of you know my app because i clicked the terminal from here so you can see local server is listening and i can open the local server from here and wow our lwc application with help of open uh, like lwc open source our application is live on local system so no matter we're going to follow which path maybe you are going to follow the other path as i mentioned i'm again repeating because maybe our uh, someone very beginner here so don't be confused what you need to do i have just created one sample app with help of lighting babe component open source just you can also create any of this app and once your app is ready uh, running on your local server then you can deploy that like app is tested it's working here let me go back let me okay now we need to coming on our main topic of the day we need to create application on heroku and deploy the application on heroku okay so go ahead let me create one account uh, app heroku create as we have already heroku cli installed so this heroku command is part of that cli so heroku create if i press enter one app will be created on heroku but name will be random so let me pass some name create uh let me know oh, impact sales uh, force session okay this is my app name so heroku app is uh, okay yeah that's learning again our name should be a small impact give a hyphen a small sales force or you can also remove this hyphen from here that's fine sales force so yeah do the mistake and learn something that's totally fine so our my app name is impact sales force system let's try now yeah that's fine my app is creating and the great news is that app is created and we have two url see one app our live app url here and this one is our git repository where this application source code will be committed so i can open the app right now heroku open this is sample application here okay and uh, sample application created not my source code yet this is sample application created and one thing i should must add before using this heroku create you need to use heroku login i am only logging this sessions so i not use but before using this heroku create you need to log uh, use heroku login command and you can log in then let me check how many source code i have sent in my local machine so in this previous step what we did just we have created one uh, app with help of heroku create command that is on heroku application uh, heroku uh, platform and now we need to deploy our source of code means now we need to make sure the same code same application is running on this okay let's go get a status so get a status uh, basically is a command of uh, get it help us to track how many files are ready to add uh, to repository so we can add and since we are after this committing uh, like we are going to deploy on heroku so let's understand one uh, basic terminology here recently we discussed about the uh, bit packs right so similar terms here when you deploy the application to heroku then uh, uh, one like uh, build of the application will be created not only on heroku no matter where you are going to deploy outside of our salesforce world you need to build for example if you are uh, building an application in java you need a var file which will deploy on your 
a platform right so while committing the bill process will happen and after that when heroku run our project in run time then we need to give a instructions what instruction we need to give ki okay which command will be used for running that application so for that purpose we need to create one file here let me click new and give a name proc file a spelling yeah that's good so proc file is a file where we write our command which will be uh, i can say run on the uh, heroku run time platform so i am going to write web colon space npm run surf so when application is going to run on the heroku so how it will run it will run with this command on the web so npm run surf that's good you can if you track your changes you can see proc file is also here somehow where it is one second ah let me uh, drag this proc file outside that's very good cool thing i noticed here proc file proc file should be in the root directory by mistake actually no i have clicked on that so i get inside that but no proc file should be here on the root directory cool so let me check you can see proc file is here that time it was not visible because that was inside a src folder so you know this just optional command git status i keep uh, using uh, so that we can track here so you can skip now i need to add git add all file to the git repository which will be ready for commit so git add dot check the status means color change these files are ready to commit see change is to be committed now we are going to commit this change get commit again these all are off from git get commit give a message message age my first commit during session then files are analyzed here and all codes are committed if i check the status nothing to commit and where it was committed for which uh, repository so you know git remote allow or uh, help us to check our uh, remote repository give up this one see heroku and how it came when we when we uh, use heroku create command earlier then we also had heroku heroku has also created this git repository for us now let me clear these things and we need to deploy this application on heroku so yeah we have committed the code so get push heroku master so okay no worry so i need to give a head yeah so now deployment is happening what happened you can see build will be created this time when we have run this application see node.js app detected the app created on heroku was a sample app no any language that time you know when i have the html page you can see earlier na uh, here but now while i am going to deploy or push the changes to repository then is detected node.js app you are going to deploy now it's creating runtime environment while deployment for this node.js application now all dependencies installation is happening on the uh, uh, our server automatically which dependencies for running this node application 
we all had the package.js and here everything is mentioned. and you can see build command mentioned here you can see the server i mentioned serve in our uh, profile remember so basics of this package.js on all the build age happening on the uh, during deployment and your build successfully created now deployment is happening so meanwhile let's go ahead and i have not logged in on our heroku dashboard ad let me go on the id.heroku.com i have already logged in in this session the heroku dashboard will be open and here you can see you can see my apps app name was which we deployed today impact self for session so this app is here when i will click on this app and i can see awesome here is the build was in progress you can go ahead and check the details log also on our uh, from your browser okay and uh, xms deployed happens successfully go back and wow our application is deployed so now time to open the application on our portal heroku open not hero it's heroku open so now experience should be same as our local wow awesome i can see see this was a local application and now the same lws project was on the heroku platform on the this url you can access this application now I mentioned we have continuous development approach. You keep developing your application. If you think it's okay to go, go ahead and deploy on your production. So let's edit this code and make some cool demo of the day. So what I'm going to do here, I am going to build one application, a small application. I know you don't have time to wait. You only write a piece of piece of code. So I am already ready made everything. I will show how. So here is my conference app. I created with help of uh, one telehead project. Build your first application with Lightning Babe components, open source. With help of this, I have built one application and I am going to deploy that Lightning Babe component application on my current server. So, see, this my app I have just developed during your so in front of you for demo purpose now i am going to copy code from my other application we do now why do learning we do lots of things like okay so let me open the conference app script oh not a script back source modules here session list and speaker card system details different lightning wave components you can see so let me copy this and with this source code, I have also data which is serving uh, as a, some, you know, a static uh, JSON response. That's fine. I will explain very soon. So copy the my app and data. I have copied. Okay, copy or control C, command C, whatever. I'll put your PC. Let me go back where I have copied from my previous one. Okay, that's go to my current application. That's my app then src modules and here is already my folder you can see let me paste here so what i am doing i'm going to replace uh one second yeah replace because i have already copied my and data folder from my other application i will show what is there nobody for that so i have just copied some of the source code in my current project now let's go first thing locally let me run npm run watch and my application is ready on this server and once i will open this then we have local application which is built in lightning wave component running on our local server that's called impact for saturday you can go ahead search all upcoming session click on the ending of the session you are aware on the next Saturday, we are going to talk with this session. Here is the link. No worry, no HRF. You can copy from here, by the way. Now, you can start the session from here. Add ons. Okay, that's fine. And 
now it's running locally time to deploy the same application on the production go back to our console our uh, terminal let me terminate this running job for now command c and you know what let's track how many file i have added recently okay so you can see very clear session details session uh, these are new components and these files are modified and these are new added that's fine let's add this to get add good now get a status you can check okay that's fine time to commit this change it m and here what will put okay now impact session code okay just sort commit happen add then commit and time to push these changes once we are ready so get i have already did it earlier just get push heroku and master but you remember i needed to add head here so that's fine now deployment again happened with my latest source code meanwhile if you are going to build the same application by your own let me show you what i did i went on this project build your first application create this uh, you are going to build the same application what i have built in demo so now if you see this we have already done this part if you remember with help of this uh, with help of this this was the output and in this first chapter same output means while you are going to build the same project then learn this for more understanding and move to the next unit and at the end of this project once you will complete this project you will have same project like me which will be conference app now you need to go to conference app you need to go on uh, source modules my data my and data copy the same from here i have only change or minor thing in this application you will have some sample json and your project will look like this so you want to learn how to build a lightning web component with open source this project is best fit you can learn each and everything from here and at the end of the session you will have application and i only replace the json with our actual session what we are doing uh, this month let me go back so yep it's think it's uh, running and uh, it will take few moments so go ahead on our heroku dashboard where it is this one or this one go on build in progress build is happening view uh, build progress you can check details from here and once you go to deploy section then everything is already mentioned here what i am doing see get add get commit then get push right and i am doing deployment from heroku cli you can also connect it to your github repository and you can automate whenever a uh, git uh, Now your code will be committed to git repository you can choose here then one option will be uh, come then whenever a code will be committed to your git repository then automatically deploy your application uh, source code to this current application so for now in this demo i am using this heroku cli let's go and see if deployment was successful or some let's open our app heroku open and you can also click on this that's fine so uh, heroku open our application will be open application is like the same code is like you can use this url if you are on social media so that people can also aware about our upcoming session as well as i am sending the link as well as they can also learn how to build this application with help of this trailer module and um, yep That's fine. Our demo is here. We are live. 
in you know, minutes with the impact health course order series for this month go ahead and yeah it's working as expected let me go back on the slide so i hope you enjoyed the demo main concern was i wanted to focus on the deployment i am not focused on the language specific session you know but i have created one app on heroku and deployed on heroku now moving ahead this was our demo this was uh, you saw the live i hope you all are going to build the same application with you you are going to visit the devcenter.heroku.com and you are going to uh, build in any application in any of your choice and you are going to deploy on the heroku you are also going to share with your friends we not in the salesforce ecosystem but if you saw today i have not a login to login.salesforce.com right everything was on the heroku so you can also share with them that if you are they are new that with help of uh, heroku with uh, you help of heroku cli on the heroku platform you can deploy your application in the minutes and uh, how just go these are some very heroku enterprise basically a very very beginning and cool uh, I can say modules. I have also taken some reference from that module in my slide. So go ahead, earn this module. Get you are new for Git, then this module will be helpful. And you are going to build the same application as my demo. Then this both your demo, the DB, and this project will be helpful for you for building the same demo. I have already mentioned various times today. That's all for on my side today. Done and done. I hope. We had a good time. I hope I have not wasted you any minutes. I tried my good. Don't forget to connect me. I am everywhere. I think everywhere in the main social media everywhere. So you can connect with me on the Tell Me profile. You can connect me on the Twitter, on Vikas and Explore IT. I am on the LinkedIn. I am there. I am also on Facebook. And my social media profile is here. Let's see. If you are going to connect with me, we'll have some love and fun together, of course. A lot of learning in our career community together. So now it's time to pick some random questions if we have any. And so, uh, if any questions, uh, can we, uh, we shall uh, help me? And uh, next session is upcoming session details here. So make sure you are going to join me that day also. Uh, we'll have one hour and next day we'll try. The session will be begin on the time. So of course today we're also time, but little delay. That's happened sometimes. We are connected virtually. Once again, thank you very much, everyone, for having me. Let me see if any question in the chat window. So yeah, so uh, Om, uh, just an update. So that a sheet uh, URL you have provided. So some some of the participants uh, are facing that issue. It says like cell log. So oh, you mean group doc? Okay, okay, group document. You mean? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's fine. Just they need to create all. I can say like you. Know, maybe they don't have a quick account that time. So that's fine. No worry. Uh, what you can do, uh, you can also share the question in the chat window, and uh, we can also uh, up. Uh, we have new Delhi website. You can also submit the question, and we'll make sure answered uh, almost question. Let me see if any some questions. Can you provide trailhead link to? Yes, of course. Uh, so. Let me share the trailhead link here already. So this is for one second. So no worry if quick document is not opening. My Jamson why you have already quick account or by the way. So if uh, not opening, then you can text here. Yeah, so this trailhead link is for build your first application. Uh, you can take help of this one to build one open source application. And uh, yeah, at least what you need to do, nothing. Just go here. Heroku in the in, uh, enterprise or in Heroku basics, you get lots of things. Okay, so search. Yeah, this one you were talking about. Lots of module. You can go ahead and next question. So okay, let me. Yeah, awesome. Someone has put it there. Done. Thank you very much. So what is different between Heroku and Copado? Okay. Okay, so I hope you hear lots of Copado certified developer we have. Can anyone please turn uh, uh, mute yourself or maybe chat here? 
so little bit about the copado because here we are talking about the heroku is a platform for deployment of application right heroku on heroku we are going to uh, deploy our ap applications okay and uh, shall we consider heroku is for enterprise data warehouse for better reporting and better communication if any external system uh, yes why not as i mentioned we have data where uh, how uh, we have data where we can build our data where outside there you know if you had external data like maybe data is coming from outside uh, then that outside data where we can build uh, uh, our application server outside and you can deploy on the heroku what is difference between aws and heroku so uh, aws is basically you know infrastructure as services and uh, heroku is our platform as services and aws is heroku uh, aws is ias and heroku is platform as services uh, i hope uh, you uh, i explained uh, with some examples of real world as well about the difference between uh, uh, pass and ias so if no uh, you are not there nobody uh, i think recording will be shared by organizers so you can uh, refer on the first five minute discussions in much details but for now it's yeah. pass and yeah what is yeah. billing strategy for aop that's really cool so what happened currently uh, i am using the free plan uh, that is you can yeah build up for free so i am also going to put the free plan uh, here okay so for the billing simply you can google it bill uh, pricing heroku pricing heroku billing and you will get to know about the pricing uh relationship relation with sales force yeah so first thing uh, we should say heroku company is owned by sales force it's our own but in terms of technology heroku that on is a part of our sales force customer sales experience view like like heroku is in the sales force platform means uh, we'll talk in the next in much details but for now uh, if i say like okay i need to uh, integrate the data between both system you don't need to worry it's yeah easy to go just for a reference but we'll talk much details in the next so yeah that's for the sync secret sales force I oh, hope yeah. it's clear. Just yes, want to, just want to add one thing uh, for the question number three. Uh, uh, so, Karthi, yeah, so, Kar so Karthi, yeah. So, so Karthi, if like, uh, if you want to learn about Copado, uh, because uh, in the chat, I think Vikram already explained that Copado is basically used for the DevOps. It's, it's basically a uh, continuous integration and deployment process. Uh, so you can leverage that, but particular process and you can make your development process uh, automated okay uh, so uh, i'm not going to explain this in uh, in a uh, detailed but yes uh, if we want to learn copado so if you, i think most of them are aware like in june we have conducted one series of copado and in that series we have uh, uh, we, we provided 12 certification vouchers uh, uh, so them so if you want to learn copado from scratch i'm sharing the link of that sessions uh, so you can uh, visit our website new delhi website and uh, you will get to know about copado from end to end and i think uh, uh, hiroku i think om already explained really well this session was really an awesome session i must so sushant please uh, go ahead and big enter that uh, two liner uh, answer here as well for other reference uh, consider we can say yes and for other use cases, we have already some discussion. Okay, any other question you can see? We have opened in our uh, maybe chat window or somewhere, or then, yeah, that's all from my side. So, nobody, please uh, keep uh, putting your answers. And yeah, thank you very much once again for uh, everyone for being an awesome audience. Thank okay. you very much. So and, it's not uh, that it's I, not an end um I yes yes, we, yes. <laughs> it's not an end our uh now i'm going to pass it to our organizers so yeah thank you new delhi developer group please go ahead with the quiz things and yeah i'm also enjoying the quiz so i'm going to stop my screen yep uh thanks Om. thanks for sharing
it's cool demo and the stuff uh, related with Heroku, how to build the app and all these stuff. So thank you very much. So guys, please join our upcoming session where uh, Om will explain the other things related with Heroku. So now it's time for quiz. Uh, meanwhile, I would say that you can go and check our website, New Delhi Develop, uh, New Delhi SFDC. So where you can see our past and upcoming sessions and the recordings as well for this session. Okay, now I'm sharing my screen and uh, we will start the quiz. Let me give me some one minute. And guys, uh, today's winner will get a Trailblazer book from our awesome speaker, Om. And uh, so thank you so much, Om, for uh, supporting us and uh, providing this awesome swags uh, to our today's winner. And guys, this is not, uh, this swag is not for only this session. Uh, uh, thanks to Om, uh, in every session uh, of this Heroku series, uh, one lucky winner, uh, will get a trailblazer book from our from our speaker in, in each session yeah go ahead Suji. oh let me know once you're able to see my screen yes i can i can see yeah Thanks, Suresh. So, guys, please don't please put your real name. Don't put the name like Dell iPad. Please put your proper name. So, so this is our game pin. Uh, please go to www.kahoot.it. This is our game pin. And one thing I want to add, meanwhile, they are starting. Please don't forget to share your feedback with the developers group. And directly you can also share with me on the Twitter and like, you know, it help us improving our contents and, you know, like uh, demo things. Thank you for being awesome. Definitely guys. Uh, uh, so these type of like sharing and retweet will help uh, uh, in motivating our speakers as well as uh, the organizers. Uh, so that uh, we can come up with uh, awesome sessions in our upcoming future as well. So definitely if you like the session or, uh, or if you have some suggestions uh, uh, in order to improve these uh, impacts info status sessions or, or some suggestions for speakers as well, like uh, if, if you want to add more uh, demos or something like that, any suggestions uh, you can like comment it on uh, our website uh, after each session we upload. Uh, 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 these videos of this session and you can comment over it or you can uh, directly reach out to Om. I think Om is uh, one of uh, the uh, MVPs which is very reachable. So you can any, you can anytime reach out to Om on LinkedIn or Twitter as well. Om will definitely will reply or you can reach out to us as well. You can reach out to me, Atul, you can reach out to Sagar, you can reach out to me, you can reach out to Vishal, Yogesh and Sachin. And we will definitely try to resolve your queries if you have. Them. 
anybody is facing any issue no sachin i don't see any messages or any comments in the chat box so i think everything yeah. is good so now i'm going to start the quiz here is the first question is coming trailhead is built on these are our options heroku ias sas and javascript I see someone has texted. I am facing issue. Can you please check and if I unlock, if possible. Someone uh, texted us. Yes. Uh, quiz is already started, so ah, uh, we can't do anything. Um, sorry for that one. No, that's fine. Uh, I think I saw late. <laughs> yes. We saw that later. Yes. Sorry for that, Siva Prashada, but you can try uh, next time. Definitely, we have three more uh, sessions. Yeah. But I'm I suggest if you're not if you're not playing, please be with us. I think some learning from question as well. So, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Piyush is leading, following with Deepak and Mohit. Here is the next question. Heroku is what is this? Uh, this is SAS, PS, IAS, or on promises. Yeah, the second one, PS. Let's see who gives the correct answer. Piyush and Paranthaman and Suraj is also leading. Heroku is a company that is Google, Amazon, Salesforce, or IBM. I think this is a simple one. Let's see the answer. Yeah, forty-six people has given the correct answer. Moving to the next question, Piyush is leading. Oh my God, good going, Piyush. In addition to officially supported languages, you can use any language with Roku. Options are deployment, workspace, process enabled, build packs. Or none of above. Hmm, tricky one. Let's see what is the answer of this question. Build packs and twenty-seven people giving give the correct answer. Great. Let's see. Piyush, Piyush, know everything. Yeah, good going, Piyush. You can log into Heroku dashboard using heroku.salesforce.com, id.heroku.com, heroku.com, and all of above. Typical for me. Let's see how many people give the correct answer of this question. Twenty-eight people. Oh my God! Great. Piyush, very good. Vikram is also leading, along with Mohit. Great, great. Today's primary demo app during session was built using which language? Java, PHP, Python, LWC. I think 
let's see how many people listen at this session carefully yes. <laughs> yeah correct shishant <laughs> how many people focused on demo oh good job good job oh good job i think uh, we have succeeded today <laughs> yes <laughs> Oh my God, Pius is always on the top. You can create new app with the Heroku CLI command. Okay, Heroku create, apps create, Heroku login, or none of above. Another question from Demo. Let's see how many people give the correct answer of this question. Forty-one people. Oh, great, great! That's great demo. Piyush, Mohit, and Arvind is leading, following with Vikram and Ashish. Okay. While some developer love the ability to use Heroku through the Heroku dashboard, other prefer to work on the command. True or false? I don't know the answer of this question. Let's see how many people give the correct answer of this question. Oh my God! Forty-two people give the correct answer. That's so on, right. on that on this question, I want to ask on, on what do you prefer, either through commands or through the dashboards. Sorry, Shushant, please come again. I am asking this question to Om. So Om, uh, what your preference is that you would like to work okay. through commands? I got it. So basically, you know, uh, while I uh, mentioned while deployment, uh, we have option. I can you can deploy from your command manually, or you can go on the dashboard and you can automate your deployment manually by linking your GitHub repository. So, mm -hmm. but for committing the changes, you also need to come on the command, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Because here we are using a uh, GitHub for that, mm -hmm. and. Dashboard also provide us the ability, like we can monitor the app. You um, maybe you uh, while they are uh, when I was showing key, you can go and click on the view uh, building details. You can check the view details from there. So yep, both are like uh, helpful for us in uh, different different terms and different aspects. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. I would add one more thing. Like developer is always focused to go with the com command line. Okay, move to our next question. Piyush is in this session. Piyush is always on the top. Great, Piyush, good going. You can open your app on the web with a command. What is the command? Is this Heroku go live? Heroku open? Heroku login? And all of above. Let's see. Yeah, thirty-four people give the correct answer. Heroku open. That's great. Let's see. Vikram is leading now. Great. True or false? Know your speaker. Today's Impact Salesforce Saturday session speaker is a Salesforce MVP and a Lightning champion. I think this is a simple one. Oh, that's great. Everybody knows the answer, this question. Great, great, great. Yeah, so now we have the winner. Arvind on the third position. Vikram is on second. And first one, I think none other than Piyush. Congratulations, Piyush, for the winner. And we have runner-up Ashish. Well done, everyone. Ten out of ten means on all uh, question was answered. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> again, thank you, thank you for sharing this knowledge with us.
so i will uh, request to each and every one please join our upcoming session and our website uh, please go our website and visit our past and upcoming session and please go on twitter and uh, put the knowledge which you get today from today's session with the hashtag impact sales for saturday and follow us on twitter as well for our sessions and our initiatives as well so uh, uh, yogesh can you please take the email id from piyush in okay, case i need I'm... any personal message so let me read in this i am trying one by one yeah please go ahead <laughs> yeah go ahead Yeah, please continue. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank, thanks, Om, and thank you, everyone. Thank you once again, everyone. Bye bye. Stay safe. Take bye care. Bye. Thank you so much, Om. Thanks, everyone, for joining today's session. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.